With migration is a hot topic, but throughout the United States, one bishop in particular sees his work with Spanish-speaking migrants as a joy to his ministry. Bishop Luis Kinman III of Biloxi, Mississippi, says his diocese has seven Spanish-speaking groups. Given that there's many of them that are undocumented right now, we're in that kind of situation where they're, they're not too sure of who to trust. So they can, they can come to church and trust the church. And it's good to be able to be there, you know, for them. His ministry started in Mexico. Then he was assigned to Corpus Christi, Texas. The bishop spent time working on both sides of the border as a young priest in the 70s, something he says is impossible to do nowadays. So that's why I'm praying we as a country can to figure out a way to, to make this work for these uh, people because they're very hard working. They really do want to make a life for their families and, uh, and the, the children are at a point where they don't really speak a lot of Spanish anymore. They're Americanized. <laughs> so they, they would be lost if they had to go back to Mexico or to whatever country in Central America they're from. The bishop still travels to Mexico to do First Communions, confirmations, dedicate churches, and much more. But he says there's still so much to do on the U.S. side, too. One of the parishes was hit by the, the latest raid that, they, that were done by the government uh, of looking for undocumented people. And so some of those people have been deported, and it's mothers and fathers of families. And so... We've had to step in also, to, uh, we need to step in and have stepped in with the families to, to uh, help pay rent, to help provide food because they were the breadwinner that got deported. Um, and the kids are in a circumstance where they're U.S. citizens, but the parents are illegal. Besides support offered by the parish and local community, Bishop Kinman says he's continuing to pray and work for a solution for the undocumented situation that so many Hispanic Latinos are enduring.